All right, guys, welcome to the T-Mobile Bianchi squad reveal. Let's kick things off with a very familiar name indeed, Rick Zabel, son of former star of the team, Eric. And at 26, he is actually one of the oldest riders in the team. And obviously, he couldn't turn down the opportunity to pick up where his father left off as leader of the T-Mobile sprint team. Next up then, we have the only rider in his 30s to join the team and also the only member of the original T-Mobile squad to rejoin and yes, Marcus Burkhart rode for T-Mobile from 2004 to 2007 and he actually won Ghent Wevelgem when he was just 23. Now at the ripe old age of 36, he is the elder statesman of the team really, as well as our cobble leader. He brings bags of experience to the table and will help in tutoring the younger riders as well. Moving on then, we have probably the team's most exciting climbing talent, at least on paper. And at 22, Gino Marda has some fantastic junior results on his Palmares, including a top three at the 2018 Tour de l'Avenir, a race won by Tadej Pogacar. So, clearly in very good company, we will give this man the opportunity to lead the team when the road goes uphill. Staying with our Swiss recruits then and Stefan Bissiger is no doubt one of the brightest talents in Switzerland. He can TT and sprint very well and at just 21 years old finished with the silver medal at the under 23 world champs in the UK in 2019 so Stefan will definitely hold a leading role in the team. Moving back to the climbers then, and we have brought in Italian Matteo Fabro. He has worked mainly as a domestique since joining Katusha in the World Tour. However, we have given him the opportunity to ride for himself a bit more, but in lesser races, and he has taken it. He is a very strong stage racer as well because he can time trial very capably. So very happy to have this man join the team. Sticking with the Italians again and Alessandro Covi will be joining the team. Another youngster at just 21 and he is a decent time trialist and he can sprint as well to be fair. Uh, we'll see really what direction he develops because he's still quite a raw talent in my eyes. A graduate of Team Colpac, he won a stage at the same Tour de l'Avenir that Marza podiums back in 2018. Jonas Ruch is another rider that has risen through the junior ranks in recent years and rather than turning to the World Tour he has opted to stay with a German team where hopefully he will see more opportunities. A giant man at almost 2 meters tall, he can ride well on pretty much all terrains but to me I believe this man is for the Flanders Classics in the future. Marcus Wildauer is the first rider to join from Austria and he is a very interesting prospect indeed. You can probably notice a theme here with Will Dower again, only 21 years old and he can sprint well, he is also capable of going over hills though, so maybe a puncher of the future. He will act mainly as a lead out at this point, but we'll see what the future holds for him. So moving back to the climbers and Giovanni Aliotti is a real talent. He's still quite raw, but super, super talented finishing second at the Tour de l'Avenir in 2019. So that means we've had two podiums in that race in the previous two seasons in the team now. We will see if this man can find his potential in a team where he is already one of the best climbers. Simon Pelau is an interesting rider indeed. The former I Am Cycling rider is a bit of a breakaway specialist and that will be his main role in the team for sure to get up the rows and compete for mountain points and maybe even stage wins. He won the KOM jersey at the Tour de Romandie back in 2019 showing his ability to get up the roads and compete in the breakaways at World Tour level. Sebastian Schomberger is our other recruit from Austria after Will Dauer and like Pelau is one of the few riders in the team that is over 25. He is a pure climber and really has been brought in to act as a domestique. However, should he be feeling good on any given day, he definitely has the ability, I believe, to be more aggressive and ride for himself. Zimmermann is a young German climber, but is very well-rounded indeed, in the sense that he is comfortable on pretty much all terrains and can also finish quickly 
in reduced sprints so pretty pretty nice rider in the team he has also proved to be very aggressive in getting up into breakaways shown by his mountain jersey at the tour of austria in 2019. i'd like to call this man the baby faced assassin because Mauro Schmidt is already a very good time trialist at just 20 years old. From Switzerland as well, he has raced a lot with Stefan Bissiger in the youth and junior ranks. They actually both rode for the Swiss Racing Academy in 2019. So looking forward to seeing this man develop over the coming seasons. So the penultimate rider to join the squad, Antonio Tiberi, the winner of the time trial world champs at junior level in 2019. Despite having technical issues with his bike after leaving the start line, he had to change bikes, but he still came through and managed to beat the likes of Quinn Simmons and Marco Brenner to gold. So if that doesn't show how talented this man is, I don't know what does. The youngest rider to join the team, but clearly bags of talent here. Yes, that is right, the man, the myth, Giga Horvat will be joining Team Mobile Bianchi and is the only rider actually we signed from a country not associated with our sponsors. The Slovenian is a very strong time trialist, however, he can go up hills like a rocket, judging by his Zwift KOM jersey collection at least, and also has a very strong sprint, so hopefully this man can help lead us back to the World Tour. The team is now set then and we are ready to go. The guys doing the World DB have done an amazing job getting the database set up, so massive props to them. I cannot wait to get started with this series, guys. So if you enjoyed this video today, drop a like on the video. Let me know what you think of our squads in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next one.